Hi, this is Mike Parlett from Talented Productions, Los Angeles, California. And this is the very first of our tutorial videos demonstrating Pro Tools tips and tricks. This first tutorial will be on how to set up Pro Tools so that you can make on-screen tutorial videos just like this one. So let's get started. Now one of the problems with Pro Tools is that it will not pass audio using the Avid hardware to other third-party software such as ScreenFlow or I Show You or even QuickTime Screen Recorder doesn't actually get audios direct from Pro Tools. But there is a good way around this uh, and we'll take a look at that today. This is going to give you pristine sounding audio along with your screen recording so that you can edit and enhance it afterwards. So what you have to do first is go off and buy a Toslink or optical cable. Now you can get these really cheaply from Amazon or Monoprice. And on most Avid interfaces, there's a digital optical output on the back that will send a two track audio to any destination. In, the, in this case, what we need to do is to get audio passing out of our Avid I.O. and back in to our computer. Now, on the rear panel of a Mac Pro, there is an in-out optical port. So, uh, plug the Toslink cable into the output of your Avid interface and then into the input on the back of your Mac Pro. And then you will be able to pass audio from your Avid I.O. back into your machine. Now, as a test, go and get on any audio file and play the file to make sure that the connection is working correctly. Now, you can prove this by uh, opening the system preferences, go to sound on input and select your digital in and check to see that you've got uh, an actual le level meter going up and down. So uh, what we do is we have a look at this, go to system preferences and go to sound. And so we've got digital and you can see that uh, we have level going in there. So uh, that's, uh, that's proving that we've actually got signal flow going there. All right, so the next thing we, we do after that is uh, we know that uh, we have a uh, level coming out of the Avid interface into our, back into our computer. So here's the, the more little bit uh, difficult you have to thing do to do, is uh, open Pro Tools and go to your IO setup, which is here, uh, and then make sure that we have uh, our monitor out so we can hear ourselves. And then here is our cue output to the uh, digital output that goes out of the back of your our interface, out of the optical port. Uh, then that way we can get signal going out of the Avid interface back into the computer. The next thing you have to do is set up uh, what we call a double bus. And uh, here's my, uh, my mic, and you can see uh, music going through there. Uh, there's, there's some music there just to show you. Bit of Jeff Lorber. All right, and then uh, what we have to do is make sure that we have our setting as a double bus. Now you can see there's two things ticked there. Uh, we've got our, our monitor out, which is what we're listening to, and then our digi out, which is the bus we created to go to the queue output of our from our um, interface. Now, if you to double bus, the way to do that is you have to hold down Shift and Control at the same time. So, uh, first of all, select the. Make sure you have the uh, monitor selected, or whatever monitor, whatever you've called your monitor out, uh, and then uh, you select the other output that you've assigned to go out of your digital. And then uh, you should you should see the two ticks there, meaning that you're sending out signal from two different outputs at the same time. And you can do that on each channel, uh, as we can see here. If you want to do it across the whole uh, session you can hold down control and option and do the same thing. And then that will double bus uh, all of the outputs on your session. Uh, of course, you can just send out whatever you want to send out digitally uh, by double busing on which, whichever channel, if you want to do it individually. For example, you might not want to send out everything to your digital output from the uh, Avid interface. That's basically it, and I uh, hope that's been helpful. Uh, when you when you finish doing that, uh, you can uh, close Pro Tools and, and actually start uh, going about doing your Pro Tools tutorials. Now, a couple of things I have to tell you is with ScreenFlow, uh, one of the problems is if you 
start screen flow after you've uh, launched your Pro Tools, it won't actually record audio. And I don't know why this is. Maybe if anyone's watching this video, you might be able to come up with a solution to that. But the way I've found that, that it, you have to do to make it work is you have to actually, actually start screen flow um, recording first before you even launch Pro Tools. So open screen flow. Uh, and start a, a recording a session going and then launch Pro Tools uh, and then go to ScreenFlow and then you can click here. It says pause at the moment because we're actually recording, but it, it'll say um, resume. When you want to resume, click resume and then you're ready to start recording. So I hope that's uh, useful to you. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions or anything that you'd like me to help you with, please feel free to make a comment in the comments box and subscribe to our videos. We'll be doing a lot more of these uh, hopefully helpful Pro Tools tips and tricks. Thanks very much. Mike Parlett from Talented Productions. We'll see you next time.